bunch of pictures and stuff. I mean, you just you're excited. I mean, that, again, you have you have goals going into the season to actually have those things to be obtained and reach those kind of things. You're just pretty excited about it. So bull mode is it, it's you. I can't believe this is getting attention. It's a very excited. <laughs> Just, of you. Yeah, just pretty excited. I mean, you see the passion. So, so JT, you know, JT gets all excited and whatnot. You know, that's JT mode, I guess. So Pat just, we just like to have a good time and make things lighthearted sometimes. You also did some elite acting in that bit with Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf, right. Do you think you have an acting future or is that a one-time deal? I mean, I'm, I'm looking for some ESPN. You know, you know, if, if all these other athletes can do it, and, you know, LeBron James and all these kind of guys, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. What was your motivation in that particular scene? <laughs> get it done so I can get out of here. <laughs> I was hungry, so I was like, yeah, hey, let's just go finish this up. And, um, you know, especially because, you know, Christmas season, I think I think that was one of our last days at practice. So it's like, okay, hey, whatever you want, let's just get it done. I'm, I'm out. I'm going back to the other side. <laughs> what about his performance? Excellent. Excellent. I mean, posture, excellent. Excellent posture? Excellent, excellent, excellent Straight posture. Straight back. Straight back. You know, we, we had a different, couple different scenes over here, you know, some bloopers, but... Oklahoma, he said they, he remind, the defense reminds him of Oklahoma when you guys played earlier this year. Is that a good assessment in your mind as well? Yeah, I can see some similar traits with, with those guys. You know, I've referenced, uh, you, know, uh, you know, our team up north in Michigan, Michigan's defense, uh, just as far as how big and athletic some of those guys were on the other side. Uh, I mean, Every de every defense at this level is is elite. There's guys, you know, there's big dudes, there's talented All Americans, first team, All Conference team, Conference players. Uh, it's just again, you gotta go respect, prepare, prepare for them, and just get after them. When you look, they've had times when they teams have had success against them. Yeah. Um, you know, they've given up 40 points a couple times. What, what have those teams done that have had that kind of success that you've seen? Out there? Um, you see tempo. I mean, because again, uh, somebody quoted they want to make sure that they're in the right. Call um, defense could be standing around or just again being quoted. Uh, just being able to kind of tempo, and make sure you, again it all comes down to execution because if you don't execute, you don't score points. So you know, 40 points a game or whoever you know whoever scored those points, it's it's all about the execution because for that offense was taking care of what they had to do and they're blocking the guys and they, you know the, their coaches put them in a good position. So when you say you know the, some of their players by numbers, are there any guys that stick out? Uh, I mean, they're, they're front, they're, they're inside too. 90-94, uh, uh, definitely because you know those are guys that I'm going to be playing against. Um, Ten, I know is you know a very talented linebacker. Thirty-four, I think this is number two. You know, the, the front seven is very, very good. So again, you got to make sure that you understand and respect all players up front because they're all threats. So. Ninety, he's a true freshman. Does he look like a true freshman? Either? No, mm -hmm. no. But again, that's that's the joy of college football. Yeah. You know, you touched on number ten, obviously Ben Bowler for, for Clemson. Yeah. Uh, when you watch him on tape, he's obviously their fire plug, mm -hmm. uh, just like you guys have on your team. You have a couple of fire plugs. Correct. When you look at what he brings uh, on film, what was it that stood out to you uh, when you first saw what he what he what he can do? It brings a lot of energy to the field, especially playing defense and being your Mike linebacker. I mean, you've got to bring that energy. It's the same thing with like Raekwon does for us. Um, He's talented. I mean, he's fast. He's quick. He's quick to the ball. Um, again, got to get a hand on him, otherwise he's going to be on the ball carrier. So. Do you feel like uh, it's tough to wait a month to play a game after going three games this week? I mean, how, how are you feeling at this point? You guys haven't played three weeks. Well, my body, my body feels a lot better. I can tell you that. I mean, I, I'm okay with waiting a, waiting a month. This five minutes, please. Five minutes. Five minutes. Um, just being able to wait a month, I mean, because you kind of, those first couple of weeks, you get a couple of days off and actually be able to get to relax and let your body rest. Again, because we've been in 15, 16 plus weeks of, of football being in camp and going through 12 weeks. Um, so I'm okay with it. Um, you know, again, it gives us a lot of time to prepare, and I think it equates, you know, both matchups. And, you know, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, you guys, you, you guys like being out here in the desert. You've been uh, very successful coming off that window last year against Notre Dame. Uh, what is it about uh, you guys in, in Phoenix? Uh, I just think it's all about preparation. I don't think you know, no matter where we are. You know, we were in New Orleans a couple of years ago, um, and it came down to preparation. Again, you, it's your team against the other. It doesn't matter where it's at. If you're going to go play in Alaska, we're play in Alaska. Uh, you know, the guys who go to the Bahama Bowl and you know, go to Hawaii and those kind of you know exotic places. It's just again comes down to preparation. You, gotta, you come here, you come to whatever destination you're at, you're gonna, you still have to win the game. But you still like coming out here because oh, yeah. of the weather. And it's nice and cool. It's crisp, better to be in Ohio right now. Huh? Yeah, some people don't like snow, but. I like it, so I'm okay wherever, wherever we're at. No snow here, obviously. No, no snow here, and it's kind of, it's crisp and cool. Billy, you hinted at it, but with three weeks off, is preparation the number one thing? Yes, because again, again, if you don't prepare, it doesn't matter where you're at, it doesn't matter who you're playing, you're 
if the preparation's not there, you're gonna you're gonna get beat. So Hill, you guys have been counting down from twenty nine days to nine strong. It's like four days now. You guys get up, you have a bigger plane, uh, festivities. How does that countdown kind of help you and the younger guys? I think it kind of gives a measure, a measure for our guys to get